Good day all and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be talking about how to slant a column. You may be you're giving a drawing that there was a slanted column. How do we get that slanted column in Potter structure? How do we design model for the slanted column? That is what we'll be doing today. And I'll be taking you through it step by step. I'll be showing you the various steps that are involved in it. And also too, I would like to ask that you like, share and comment on my videos. You can share with your friends, people that need this video, people that want to learn more about Porter structure. Uh, I have previous videos that have taken care of so many topics on Porter structure. So today, back to business, we we'll start first by creating an axis. I have taught axis and creation in my previous videos so you can do well to look them up but i would just start with this axis creation um, i want a 5000 millimeter space between the column can see now this has been created and this is in 3d so whatever we are doing you are going to be seeing it over here now i also want to offset this as this so i'm going to press f2 so that i can put what i want i want to offset it by 1000 I also want to offset this axis so I press F2 minus 1000 I want to move it to the opposite direction towards the left when I'm when you're moving when you offset an axis and you're moving it towards the left you use the negative sign before the distance you want to move it when you're moving it to the right hand side you just move it with a positive sign now we've offset the axis so let's put our column where we want it to be like our starting point like the top of the column i'll be carrying the slab so i i want my column to be two to five the dimension by two to five so I'm going to put my column here, you can see, I put another one here, I put another one here, and then the last column here. Now how do we slant this column, which is what I'll be talking about now. So I click on property, I click on pick bottom insertion point. And I pick the point I want and I update. You see, it's already slanted over here. Now let, let's pick the next one. I pick this column. I click on properties. I click on pick bottom insertion point. So you see. I click here and I update you can see it's slanting now the next one is this way so I still click on it first I cancel this column properties so I click on this and I go to properties again in similar manner pick bottom insertion point I click at this point and I update you see then over here to similar process I click on the column I get the properties and then I click on pick bottom insertion point and I pick the point I want it to be and I update you can see that we've slanted our columns now let me just put a beam I 
אני אסלע בנית. easy and simple to understand thank you for watching and god bless you i would like to say you should like comment share and subscribe to my channel once again thank you for watching and god bless you